Dallas Henry. Um, I'm a finance manager here at RV Wholesalers. Um, this is Dalton Owen. Uh, he's one of our sales reps. Hey, guys. We're going to talk to you guys a little bit today about um, five ways to protect yourself um, at an RV show to buy a camper. Um, we're going to go through a few things with you guys. Um, we do sell a lot of campers here, as, as many of you know, um, but we're also realistic. We understand for many different reasons. We can't sell every camper, um, so but we do want to uh, help you guys as you're out there, help you protect you um, from predatory dealers, from dealers that are looking to take advantage. Um, not that every dealer is bad. Um, there are, are some good ones out there, but we also understand that customers need to protect themselves. So I'll kind of lead into Dalton here and let him kind of go over the first kind of point here and, and, and we'll kind of discuss. So first things first, when you guys are going through the RV shows, uh, make sure you get every price in writing. Um, when you're going through and you're looking at uh, the camper that you like, make sure that you get everything in writing from price of the camper, all of the fees, every single fee that they have there, uh, and make sure that everything is there from uh, point A to point B, taxes, all their fees, everything, um, and then make sure that all the options you want on that camper are there. If it's the camper you're looking at there or one you're looking at ordering, make sure everything's there. Make sure it has all the options you're looking for and make sure uh, it is there in writing in front of you. So that way you can, uh, you know, make sure you're getting exactly what you're looking for. And you're going to walk away happy. So. Right. Yeah, I think one of the big things with um, with other dealers out there, um, I mean, there are legitimate fees out there that, that are out there, state fees, dock, title, factory freight, things like that. You know, and we have some of those fees. But um, one thing we do very, very well is we put everything out there and we explain it to you right up front. We, we don't want you to come in here and, and feel surprised in any way. I mean, you do in that, in that sense, you're, you're going to kind of want to back away. And, and a lot of people have bought things and whether it be cars or whatever it may be, and they start to realize that they're just waiting for the other shoe to drop. Right. Yep. So that's, that's one thing we want to make sure of is when people go out there, they, they really ask a lot of questions. They, they get it all up front. You know, what if this happens? What if this happens? Those things like that. And that kind of leads me into our second point, um, which is price guarantee. Ask the dealer to put everything in writing. I mean, that's a big thing. Like we do it again. We're not every dealer, but we do it. We put everything in writing. We have you review it before you sign off on anything, before you do any type of deposits, any of that. We want to make sure you got everything in writing 100%. And, it, and one of the big things is if they won't, okay, um, if you tell them, hey, listen, I want everything in writing, all right, um, but I want you to put on my purchase agreement that if that price changes by even a dollar, that I'll get my deposit back. Okay. We'll do that. That's no problem at all. We absolutely will do that. There are dealers that will do that, mm -hmm. um, but not all will. So that's a big thing we want to make sure of is, is make sure. And listen, if they don't do that, turn around, don't walk, run, because you know, something's about to happen. You know, there's a shoe about to drop, things like that. Obviously, if you add things, you take things away from a purchase agreement, extras, things like that, that's going to change your price. Yeah, obviously. 100%. So, but um, anything you would add to that? Uh, no, just like you said, if they're if the price changes at one dollar, make sure you run for the doors and you know make go somewhere that's not going to change your price. Right. Uh, next thing, you know, if you guys have a trade, make sure that you are getting fair market value for your trade, and that if you uh, do find a better price somewhere else, that hey, uh, that number you gave me on on your trade, you, you guys offer me ten thousand, just throwing that number out there. Um, if I go somewhere else and they're offering me nine, is that $10,000? Is that if you guys just buy that camper off of me, you know, here at RV wholesalers, we give you fair market value for your trade. And that's whether you buy that camper from us, or if you go down the road to another dealership, uh, which we hope you don't, uh, but we'll still offer you that $10,000 there. So right. make sure that that trade value is real. Yeah. The big thing with the trades, and, and we see a lot of this on my side of the table in the finance department, you know, as you'll see, um, dealers will, this goes, especially goes for retail dealers, mm -hmm. they'll inflate trade numbers to make it look good, obviously, but you're paying for that somewhere. Okay. You're paying for that in generally the price of the, the new unit that you're buying. So again, kind of for instance, you know, if I'm, if I hear at RV wholesalers, I'm saying $10,000 for your trade and I'm selling you the camper for, for $20,000. Okay. There's a net difference there. You can do the math. Now, if the dealer down the street saying, no, 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 I'll give you $15,000 for your trade, that sounds great, okay? But look at the sale price of the camper. If they're selling you that camper for $30,000, you're 
you're still net in the hole with them five grand. I mean, that's just kind of the way that works. And that's how some of these dealers will kind of play games with the trade. But one way, as Dalton just said, to point that out is, is a very simple statement, which is if I do not buy the new camper off of you, will you still give me the 15 grand or whatever it may be for, for my trade? Will you write me a check for that? Mm -hmm. And that's a way to find out whether they're hiding numbers, whether it's built into the profit of the new unit. And oftentimes it is. Um, we find that uh, find that very, very uh, often. So yeah, definitely on the trades, just make sure you're getting, like Dalton said, fair market value. Make sure they're willing to write, write you a check for it, even if you don't buy the new unit off them. So, um, next thing we got to look at here, um, Dalton, I'll let you jump on that one there. Um, how will you take care of them when you uh, when you're serv you need yeah. service on your RVs? Service after sale is, is number one with us. You know, if you're, if you're here in Ohio, um, we have the Buckeye service guarantee. So you're getting 10% off everything in the parts store. If your cert camper's in here for service and you have a, uh, a camping trip coming up and your camper's in here for service, we're giving you one of our rentals. You're, uh, so that way you guys don't aren't missing a camping trip. 10% uh, off in the parts store. I think I already mentioned that as well as a three day exchange for anything. Um, so you purchase a camper and you take it out and you're like, Hey, I, I just don't like this. And it's still within three days of that purchase. We're swapping that camper out for you. Um, Buckeye service guarantees are number one here for all of our Ohio customers, nationwide service network. So you got 2,500 service locations all over the country that we work with. Basically, if you are uh, out camping in the Grand Canyon and your air conditioner starts having a rattle, you call us up, say, hey, my air conditioner's got a rattle. I'm out here in the Grand Canyon. I don't want to drive back to Ohio, obviously, after my uh, vacation. Where do I take this camper to get fixed? We find somewhere close where you're camping. We make the appointment for you, try to get you and get you fixed while you're camping so that way you're not hot while you're camping. Yeah. And to, to add to what he said there, it, it, it moves kind of stop for a second. Yep. If you guys have any questions during the, during the um, uh, video here, chime in, let us know, let us answer your questions. Let us get those taken care of. And if you guys have any questions after the fact, you can email either one of us. You can call up here, ask for either one of us. We can try to help you out with some of those questions if we're not answering them uh, here. Um, you know, uh, my email, real easy, dhenry at RV Wholesalers. That's D-H-E-N-R-Y at RV Wholesalers.com. And, and Dalton's email is D-O-N-D-O-W-E-N at RV Wholesalers.com. So make sure you guys, any questions you have, if you can't fire them off here, make sure you let us know um, after the fact. Now, as to what he was saying when it comes to service, really to kind of back it up, service is is really what you need to focus on the mo the main thing mm -hmm. when you're buying a camper, because a lot of dealers will tell you a lot of pretty things. Okay, when it comes to service, sure, bring it back to me. You can take it to any dealer. Now, Dalton and I being in the business as long as we have, we know some of that's true, some of it's not true. Okay. Um, the big thing that a lot of people don't realize in the RV industry is it's not like the car business. Um, if they tell you, hey, if I'm buying a Forest River product, you can take it to any Forest River dealership. Him and I know that's not true. Yeah, we, we know that that isn't the case because it says right on the back of, of uh, you know, uh, your website and, and uh, pamphlets and brochures that the only dealer that's guaranteed to give you any service, at least mandated by the factory anyway, is the dealer that you bought it from. OK, so that's why we have these things set up privately. Um, this is not something we get from Forest River or anybody else or we we set this up privately so we can make sure we take care of customers after the sale. That's when service really matters is is that dealer standing in between you and the manufacturer and parts distributors and warranty companies and things like that to take care of you. That's where we excel. Um, I'm sure there are some great dealers out there that do a good job. Um, but make sure you, you understand that before you buy what you're truly getting out of service. And don't just, don't let the pretty language fool you. Make sure you look into it. Make mm -hmm. sure you ask them what happens if I'm in this area and this happens, what, where, where do I go here? You know, and make them give you an answer, you know, cause we will absolutely. So that's one big thing. And, and, and I'll let Dalton go into the last thing. It, it's really the big thing that we get, which is, is high pressure. Okay. So yeah, high, high pressure is one of the big ones. You know, we've seen it going to local RV shows and even uh, hearing it from uh, customers that go to them. Uh, make sure that when you're going in there, you get all your information and think about things. Uh, we've seen many, uh, other dealerships uh, dress up their own 
salesman as manufacturer rep saying, hey, you know, the XLR rep uh, is here and it's one of their own salesmen. They're dressed up with a XLR hat on uh, just trying to uh, get you to close that day. Hey, we got a rebate that ends today. Make sure you can take advantage of it. And it's just one of their own salesmen trying to uh, pressure you into the deal just to get you to sign that day so that way you don't walk down the street and get a better deal uh, with better service and better advantages. Uh, and just to prove that, you know, make sure you're calling around, calling to us and say, hey, they got a guy here that has a factory rebate. We'll check into those things for you, uh, making sure you're taken care of. Uh, you know, we want to earn your business. Other dealerships want to earn your business. We want to make sure you're protected from those predatory dealerships. Make sure you're reading into everything and make sure you're not being pressured. So, yeah, no, that's de definitely one thing we see and we hear from a lot of customers and, and I'm not going to be the guy that throws out dealership names on here. I just won't do it. But the reality is, is a lot of very well-known names out there um, in the RV industry. They use these high pressure techniques, um, not because it's fun, not because it's comfortable, but because it works. I mean, it really does. I mean, they, they you'll get people that will go in and and they're just not prepared for the situation. Um, I saw it with actually a, a very good friend of mine not too long ago that uh, went to the wrong dealer and, and, and had a bad experience. And now they owe a lot more on something than than what it's worth. And, and that's a big thing when you go in. If you get the high pressure, if you feel the high pressure, your chances are there you're probably wanting to walk away. I mean, I, that's what I would do personally, kind of go with your gut, um, really focus on those things. And if you feel like you're in a position where it's high pressure, um, one thing we always explain to people is, listen, we're going to give you the details mm -hmm. of what the deal entails, when it ends, how long it goes for, things like that. Um, but ultimately, it's up to the customer. One yeah. thing that I, I think Dalton and I understand very well is that we truly, truly – you run the sale. This is your sale. Okay. Him and I are here to help facilitate it. You know, all the people here at RV Wholesalers help facilitate that sale. Um, make sure we're getting you what you need to properly use, maintain the camper, um, getting you the correct camper. That's where Dalton excels at. He makes sure he asks you questions, things like that. You know, how many, how many people are you sleeping? Do you got kids? What's your tow vehicle? Things like that. Those are the questions of somebody that's trying to help you. And there are dealers out there that do that and, and that do truly want to help you. There are good people, um, but there's a lot of on the other side. Um, we see that all the time. They, they, a lot of the dealers drive business right to us mm -hmm. um, because they they came across as a very, very high pressure. Again, the last thing I kind of want to say to, to some of these points is you run the sale. I said, I said it before, I'll say it again. You run the sale, okay? We're going to help you facilitate. We're going to tell you how it all works. We're going to tell you step by step what needs to happen. It's your job as a consumer to take those steps. We just want to make sure here at RV Wholesalers that we keep people in the camping industry. Even if they may not buy from us, of course, we want your business, but they may not buy from us. We want to make sure that they stay in the camping business for a long time. And that's going to continue to, to you know, perpetuate itself as they have kids and things like that keeps us healthy, you know, keeps everybody happy and camping because that's the reality of things. hundred percent. Yep. So um, if you guys, like I said, if you guys have any questions or anything, please shoot us an email, let us know. Um, Dalton and I will make ourselves available. If not, I have other guys here. If I'm on the phone or something that can help you guys out, answer some questions you have, jump on our website, on our chat, um, biggest thing I tell people is call us. Just call us. Listen, you'll hear the difference. Um, you'll hear the difference. And if you have talked to other dealers and things like that. And like I said, there are a lot of, there are good dealers out there. Okay. Um, we just want to make sure that you guys buy an RV. You're happy. You're healthy when you do it. Um, and you're not getting into a situation to where you know, it feels like you got in a 10 round boxing match. Um, it should be an enjoyable experience. So, um, Dalton, you got anything else? No, I look forward to hearing you guys' questions and helping you guys out. Uh, I look forward to earning your business and helping you guys buy your next camper. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for uh, joining us today. Really appreciate it.